In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom templates for your markable. In order to do that, we first of all need a template. We can do that uh, by creating a, either a PNG image or an SVG image. Because for PNG, you need a resolution of 1404 by 1872 pixels. And this menu bar you can see here is exactly 120 pixels wide. So if you want to leave that out, for example, that's 120 pixels. So let's create one. I'm using GIMP 2.10 here. So um, let's just go ahead, create a new document and use those values. So um, as width, we use 1404 and as height, we use 1872. Just create that. And for simplicity's sake, let's say we just want to make a black template. So let's say we like to write with white color on black background and we don't want to paint our canvas black every time. So we can do that. We just make the whole thing black and export that as a PNG file. Let's call that black.png. Export it. Hit export again. And now we can see in there's so a black.png file. Next thing we need to check is uh, if we actually have something that's called black.png on our Remarkable. I don't think so, but we should check first. So let's SSH into our Remarkable and then go to user share Remarkable templates. Hit ls and so you can see we have blank.png but not black.png, so that's okay. So Let's copy that over in order to do that. First of all, get out of this safe connection and just use SCP to copy our black.png over to uh, root at our IP uh, 168. And then use our share remarkable templates. And let's call it black.png with a capital B. There you go, let's transfer over. So if we SSH again into Remarkable and go to uh, use our share Remarkable templates. And um, now we can see we have no black.png in there. But that won't make this one show up. If the template chooses, so if we now go uh, settings, View our templates. We can see there's blank, but there's not black. So what we need to do, um, we can see there is a JSON file called templates.json in here. And we need to edit this one. So the only editor I found to be under Oracle is Vim. So I'm gonna give you a quick introduction to it. So we just type Vim and then the name of the file we want to edit. Now, Vim is a model editor, meaning it has different modes. And the mode you're in right now is called normal mode, which means if you type something, uh, I'm typing G right now and stuff is happening, but I'm not typing a G character. So in order to type something, you first need to go into insert mode. You do that by hitting the I key, lowercase I, and it says insert there in the bottom left corner. So you can see, uh, let's get out of insert for a second. You can see we have this structure here over and over. So you can see name is blank, file name is also blank. Well, this is blank.png without the suffix. Then we have an icon code. And then there's categories. Categories is in yeah, kind of a list, an array. Um, with the categories this template is found in. So you can see over on the right on the remarkable, we have creative grids, life organized and lines. And uh, what I like to do, I like to keep my custom templates in a category called custom. And we can easily create a new template. Um, and we can easily create our own category by just mentioning it in this category script. So we don't want to type all of this out again. So we want to copy that. How do we do that? I'm doing what we get out of insert mode by hitting escape. Then we press a capital V, so shift V on the first line 
we want to copy and then we just move down with the arrow keys in this case to line 13 then we hit Y for yank and then capital P for paste and now we have a new copy of this blank entry post pasted and uh, we can edit this so we can hit I for insert and now move around with the arrow keys um, we don't want to call it blank we want to call it black the file name is also black and the categories um, we want to delete all of those so what we can do is again we just go to line we want to select hit shift V go down and this time we don't hit Y we hit D for delete um, then we can hit I again to go into insert mode go to the end of this line hit enter and we can now specify our own category so let's call this one custom Okay, now we want to save our changes to this file, so we need to get out of insert mode by hitting escape. Then type a colon and then WQ for write and quit, hit enter, and we made our changes to this templates.json file. Now in order for this to take effect, we need to restart the remarkable UI, we need to restart Xochitl, so in order to do that we type the following command, system CTL then restart and then what we want to restart in our case Xochitl. If we do that our Remarkable will restart and probably my screen capture software will not recognize that. Yeah. Oh it does. Interesting. We're now back. So let's go to our quick sheets again. Select the new blank page. Now click on the title of the document or on the three dots, now settings, now view all templates. And now we can already see we have this black thing, uh, the black template on there. But we also have the category custom up there, if we click custom, we just see our new template, we add it to this category, so we can select the black template here, hit save. And now we have a black background. One more important thing, if you have a landscape template, then inside this, inside those JSON lines of this template entry, you need to add this landscape and then true thing. If you don't add that, then the micro will try to handle your template as a portrait template. So while looking for templates on the remarkable I found there were some templates which are there but not accessible through the template chooser, so not to show them. I just mount that USR share remarkable templates folder and go in there. And we can see that all those templates in there. And there's for example one called pblack.png, which is not used anywhere. So let's find out all of the templates that are not used. Let's say um for file in one of the PNGs. Let's focus on the PNGs first. We just grab that Q for that file, not for that file, but uh, for that file without its suffix. This is Z shell only syntax right there. We grab for that in templates JSON, and uh, well, if that's the case, if we find it, uh, uh, we continue, and if not, we echo the file. I think we need the no. Oh, because I forgot the do. Um, like so. And we can see there's black dots.png, black grid.png, black lines.png, and black.png, which are not used. So uh, let's have a look at those. Um, I think it's uh, P and then a space and black something. So we have uh, white dots on black background, we have white squares on black background, we have white lines on black background, and we have a black background. Those are not accessible to the template chosen. If you want to change that, well, you can just, uh, you can just modify the templates.json, 
we know what they're called so um, let's just copy that one right here and let's for example say we want black lines uh, we can just call that black lines and the file is p p black lines and now we would have to find the icon code for the line let's just say uh, we have lines medium let's use medium so it's this code right here let's just copy that go over here uh, paste that and delete that one Now if we take a look at the remarkable, uh, let's go over to templates. We can see there's black lines that uh, we accidentally picked the portrait, uh, the landscape template there. But if we select that, it doesn't work. That's interesting. Here's our share, remarkable templates. black lines with a uh, lowercase l was that our mistake? yeah uh, so we can see we are uh, this one needs to be lowercase and uh, while we edit uh, oh yeah while we edit uh, let's look for name lines again uh, this is ls lines we don't want ls lines we want p lines small p lines medium let's do this one go up there again uh, oops up <laughs> up there again and uh, use the correct icon code this time and now back on the remarkable let's open up the templates again we can see black lines now has the correct icon and if we select that we actually do have our hidden black lines template. 